Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. So today's clip is all about January and my January update. Hmm. January, isn't it a gloomy month? I have to admit, I really, really did think back at Christmas that I would make sure that January wouldn't be gloomy. Um, and I have to admit, that's I told you all, didn't it? That I think everybody struggles. We're on the 17th of January now, and it's got to the point where those last sort of end things of Christmas have left us. You're into the mid-month. The weather's not great at all. So when you've got that spare time, you can't necessarily go out and enjoy that. You can't really do what you want to do. Everybody's busy. Everybody's bogged down. Um, hmm. January. Really does, doesn't it, get you into the mood of that. Another thing what's really, really turned something completely new for me, which is very difficult to deal with, is at night times now. Um, what's been really strange is where... I can be found to be very, very guilty of looking ahead into the future and rather than looking at things on day and what's going to happen on an actual day, I can be found really, really guilty through looking at the week ahead, the month ahead, years ahead, thinking, oh my goodness, in five years, I'm going to be this age. What am I going to have? Am I going to be in this position? Am I going to have a family? Am I going to be married? Um, <laughs> all of those things. And it's night time I, th I seem to switch on I seem to have all these worries these concerns at night time and you know what this January after enjoying such an amazing Christmas literally since Christmas I have had a horrible horrible problem that when I when I go off to go to sleep I cannot and it's been really really wearing me down and it's kind of got to the point where I can literally be trying to go off to sleep and I suffer with tinnitus. So if anybody who doesn't know what tinnitus is, that's like it can be a high pitched sound or it can be a sound in your ears or in the middle of your head. It's typical for somebody with hearing loss. Um, and if you're stressed, I don't think I don't think if you haven't got hearing loss, you can't have it. I think you can still have it. But I think it's more it's more sort of there. It's more sort of an issue if you have a hearing, uh, if you have a hearing issue. And of course, I do. And um in both ears. On my left ear, I have uh, a, a huge hearing loss. Um, I don't actually hear speech on my left side, and on my right side, I have a slight hearing loss. Um, so yeah, tinnitus at night time, a real big issue. Um, and that gets me quite stressed out. So if I'm trying to go to sleep and I've got these things going on in my mind, January, of course, we all think we all stress about those things. Um, as much as we try and stay positive, yeah, it's difficult. <laughs> you, you get it, what I'm trying to say. So, two, it's, I tell you what, at the moment, in the last couple of days, it's literally been about just after, and it's strange, it's always about the same time, just after about three o'clock, 20 past three, that's the last time I look at the clock, and that's kind of like the last time I remember seeing the time before I go off to sleep. And then, of course, that's not great. So I usually can be found sort of watching TV, trying to take my mind off things. I've tried reading. I've tried switching off. I've tried lots and lots, even scanning the Internet for what can help. I don't want to try tablets. I don't want to try sleeping remedies and things like that at all. I'm already on quite a lot of different tablets and things um, for one thing or another. Um, so that's not sort of something I want to do. But yeah, my goodness. And then in the morning. Wow. Doesn't it make you feel strange? Um I'm always up early, so it really, really does then make me feel quite groggy in the morning, especially with a hearing and a balance problem. When I wake up first thing in the morning, I always have to get up slowly, take a seat on the side of my bed, and then, yeah, give myself a couple of minutes, um, which is a bit strange being I'm only 26. But, um, but yeah, absolutely. But yeah, January. Hmm. So hard at work now, just starting to get back in after my break into studying which, as if anybody knows who watches my channel, I am trained to be an accountant, a chartered accountant, so I'd love to be top of my field. So, and I'm studying a whole host of all different courses as well. I love, really, really passionate about self-development, training and education. Um, vital, vital thing, and it, age does not matter. I mean, I've been studying since I've left school with all different courses, and because of my health problems, distant learning has been an absolute blessing for me. Um, and I would say to anybody, whoever has thought about that, jump straight in with it. 
don't even think about it. Of course, there is a little bit of a setback. It can be quite expensive, but the the sort of the self recognition and that reward, in some respect, is more because it's all on you. There's nobody there telling you that you have to do it. It's either you want to do it or you don't. And if you don't, it just stays in the drawer, it stays in the cupboard away, and you don't achieve it. Whereas if you keep on top of it, number one, it helps your development. It helps where you want to be in your career. It helps your mindset. Education, of course, is a fantastic, a fantastic key to everything. Um, and we never stop learning. So absolutely amazing. So I've jumped in with that this January. And... Yes, really trying to get back on top of that, really trying to stay on that. I've had a break over the festive season and I'm now into that. Really trying to stay positive. My Everybody sets us up a New Year's resolution, don't they? And mine this year was to not worry about things. It's been the same since about three years ago. But however, the slight different one this year, what I'm trying to do is not to look at things too far ahead. So in this clip, I have already said that I am guilty of thinking about things. So in somewhat you could say that I failed, but I don't see that as a failure. <laughs> um, I'm not saying that I failed at this at all. What I'm saying is that it's a work in progress. Of course, it doesn't matter if I've been into a new year at all. You can set yourself new goals every day of your life. And I am really trying to concentrate on this year, trying to switch that down because worrying does affect your health. And when it gets to the point that you're worrying about silly things, it, it, it's an issue and it does affect you so rather than me when I get into that mindset when I into when I unfortunately when it's nearly like two o'clock in the morning and I'm worrying oh my goodness all these years ahead if you tell anybody they must think you're silly but I really do then most days it's actually in the morning then it clicks to me I sort of had this night of stressing and worrying I usually end up having a bit of a dream or a nightmare um, about something what's worrying me or stressing me and then in the morning I kind of I get sensible, then it all starts to fall into place. And recently, what I've been trying to think, rather than, I'm sure I've wrote this somewhere on my channel actually, rather than thinking years ahead, rather than thinking months ahead, just do one day as it comes. And I do find myself setting goals, like I look around my house or if I'm going out for whatever reason or if I'm meeting up with somebody, it can just literally be, okay, so today I'm gonna make sure I do this, today I'm gonna make sure I do that. And if I don't, I have to admit, I do beat myself up a little bit, but, most of the time these things are achieved. I am an absolute advocate for having things written down. I love a written diary. Of course, it's great to have it on your phone. It's great to have it on your computer, your tablet, whatever you use. But having it written down, I love a written diary. I think it makes such a difference. Um, and and yes, that's what I've been really, really trying to, uh, really trying to concentrate. That was my New Year's resolution. So yeah, it's a work in progress. You could call that Sorry, a little bit annoying. You're probably used on my channel to see me with all this like groom style hair. But, you know, this is me of an evening. Um, so, yeah, at the moment, which we'll be reviewing more products, I've got lots of plans for 2020 for my YouTube channel. Of course, it's all about the bumpy road of life. Good and bad. Lots of good going on. And, of course, I love... Uh, Love sort of trying out different hair products, love sort of trying to maximise different styles and things and helping my hair grow thick and full. Is it because I'm vain? No. Is it because I want to try and keep my hair? Yes, absolutely. And is it because it's something I enjoy? Yes, I do it as an interest, as a passion. And you know what's been really, really great recently? And if any of those people who have left me comments watch this clip, I absolutely thank you sincerely because the comments which I have received from my clips and messages have just been brilliant. And when I take the time to write these messages back, it's really humbling that somebody would ask me for my opinion. And it's just amazing. Somebody just like me, just a normal person. I'm, I have to admit, I have a lot of bad luck and I'm a true believer that we make our own luck. But that sounds strange, doesn't it, to say that I do get a lot of bad luck, but I do. For some reason, everything I try to do, I get door shut in my face, literally. And that's hypothetically. Somebody doesn't actually shut a door in my face. But everything I try to turn out good usually ends up that I've got to go through that much horribleness or that much stress and worry before I come through to the end. But I can assure you, I do come out the other end. I'm a fond believer what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Hmm. There we go. Some January up, really, doesn't it? So this is all about my January updates. I'm sure January is a bit of a gloomy month for everybody. But there we go.
So whoever watches this clip, thank you very, very much. I just want to do a little bit of an update, a little bit of a sort of a drop in for January. How's everybody doing? Whoever watches this clip, my best wishes to you. Stay positive and really stay on track if you've set yourself any goals or aspirational things for January going into 2020. And just picking up on that, really, really conscious. So I kind of forgot what I was going on to say, but people don't necessarily see me without sort of groomed hair or hair which is full of product but this is pretty much me so i have to admit i have really really hair which aggravates me so for, let's just take a couple of minutes to drop in on that so i'm always looking at products to help my hair grow thicker and to help my hair grow fuller and you might think that's a bit of a mop what bradley's got on top of his head hmm you might think it is, but it's actually quite fine and it's actually quite flat. It's literally the products which I use, if I don't touch my hair, it goes quite puffy. It goes quite sort of fluffy as well, which of course is great. But this is not a style which I would be going anywhere with. But yeah, yeah so literally, let's just flick it out a little bit. But yeah, there we go. <laughs> so we will be looking at some products very soon. Um, and yes. Absolutely. So thanks very much for watching this clip. It looks like something like I've, I've spent ages ages doing, but honestly, I haven't. It's just really quite soft, really quite sort of fluffy at the moment. And it looks quite full and thick here, but I can assure you in places it's not. I'm not going to point out the areas which I'm not really very happy with. Um, but there we go. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, goodness. Look. There we go. Right. Anyway, thank you very, very much for watching this clip. That was my January update and i wish you very very well and until next time we will see you then and enjoy whatever you're doing coming up i know i spend so much of my time worrying and stressing i'm talked about that a little bit now and i say it to everybody i'm always that person to be sort of reaching out sort of supporting people being there for people but and it's kind of something which plays my mind lately as well we only have one life and if i can help people with that then great that's what i like to do um I don't think I could be nasty to anybody at all, even if I had a worse enemy or if somebody said something awful to me. I always think what's going through their mind sort of to say that. Um, so, yeah, yeah, that's just a little insight for me as well. But um, but there we go. So that's my January update. Thanks very much for watching. And I know I've said this about three times, but until next time, we will see you then. Thanks now. Bye bye.